Hi there, just gonna show you something cool here. Uh, you know, <coughs> on the Mackie Deal series you have a couple of <coughs> nice effects, actually four available on the deal as standard. What I wanted to show was something like this that <coughs> is a little bit special. Uh, I want to add a fifth effect and uh, I don't uh, wanna. I would like to do it like this. Go to. Uh, I'll use the AUX8 for some reason. AUX8. I'm gonna rename that to FX5. Like that. Right. Looks good. I could add some. I'll put an input put on that one immediately. Okay, <coughs> now I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to the patch bay and uh, I will do it like this. I will send, I'm going to the USB. Sorry, I'm going to change something first here. The pre fader to post fader. Just like that. All right. And then I'm going to the patch bay. I want to. I would like to use the AUX8 to USB one. I'm just gonna check here that it was routed right. Yes, that looks good. <coughs> okay, and I want to receive the uh, the whole thing which I'm sending somewhere. You're gonna see soon where I'm sending it. Uh, I will place it on USB 2, uh, input 2, on B, and I would like to send it on. Let's see here. Uh, USB 1 and 2. Okay. I will do it on return 1 and 2, like that and take away that uh, one and two. All right, I will set it up. And uh, now I'm gonna do like this. I'm changing that to the main. I'll go back to the to the FX return. There you go. Okay, uh, I want to do like this, that I'm, I'm gonna name that <coughs> to Space designer like that, All right? Looks good. Okay, something is coming in there already. So, all right, we can place it like that. And now I'm gonna <coughs> go over to the Macintosh, which I have connected through USB. And actually, I'm gonna look on, as you saw first, previous, that I have been setting up the uh, the input and the stereo output. So we can just check input. All right, uh, just gonna check here. USB one, input one, perfect. And it's already taking in the signal, as you see. And stereo out, I wanna send it on on the output one and two. Here you see all the 32 channels. I can send it back to whatever I like. It's totally possible to both send and return on the same USB port. So, okay. And now I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna add the space designer. I think monitor stereo. Yes, like that. Right. And I'm gonna add. A Nice big, I don't know, hole. Maybe we take something. Nine seconds. Okay, there we go. Let's see if this is working here. Uh, I'm going back to the space designer and I'm gonna pull up the. Oh, right. As you see, it's working. I got a very nice. Delay here. <coughs> I'm 
could do like this, that. And what I have been doing is, you saw I'm sending on the FX5. So if I take away the complete signal here, it's actually muting. Okay. And <coughs> if I mute here, it will hopefully go away after a while, right? So it's sending on 5. And uh, if I go back to main, it's coming back on the space designer input. And uh, yeah, if I take away it here, it's, it's gone actually. So. This is quite nice also if you if you do like this that uh, let's say that you have uh, your lead singers on aux one you are uh, uh, sending some signals out there and you can actually do that for aux one you can send some you know nice space designer out to that you know if he's doing or anything like that, so uh, and he wa wants to have a special effect. That's actually working, so so it's quite nice. Huh? All right, go back to that one. So <coughs> I think that was the all for this demo. And just imagine what you can actually add if you don't want to do the space designer. There are more nice applications like the Lexicon or Digi Design or whatever. So kind of Antares whatever you like. You can send whatever you like. Right.